uh, government agencies responsible for inspection of ships calling at Nigeria's ports have agreed on a simultaneous joint vessel inspection. The collaboration is expected to eliminate delays, t tackle corrupt tendencies and shorten the turnaround time of vessels. Correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. Presiding over the meeting of concerned port agencies, the Executive Secretary of the Nigerian Shippers Council, Hassan Bello, knows that joint boarding of vessels is the international best practice around the world. According to him, the global shipping community is constantly complaining about the delays at Nigeria's ports, which have economic consequences on the nation. The procedures must be transparent. Uh, this is war against corruption at the ports, and um, if we get it right, then it will breed efficiency. Um, that is also uh, goes to competition we have from other ports. And I think today you see the array of people who are to board vessels, all of them, all the agencies are here, and there is a, a resolve that we are going to do it right. Time is of the essence in boarding a vessel, and so there are time-conscious uh, uh, issues that we have to uh, make sure that they are, are complied with. Um, Consenting to driving a port process that is timely, efficient and free from corruption, participants at the meeting underscored the importance of integrity and the need to apply sanctions against agencies that fail to comply with the new standard operating procedures for vessel inspection. The essence of having a standard operating procedure in any relationship is actually to eliminate discretion. Once discretion is eliminated, then you're already on the pathway of um, integrity. The Honorable Minister of Transportation at the stakeholders meeting organized in respect of the Nigerian Port Process Manual emphasized the need to invoke sanctions. It's very important we digitalize our ports and I'm happy with the cooperation we are getting from the terminal operators, the shipping companies, freight forwarders, they are also embracing. Uh, the custom is almost ahead of all of us in uh, technology. So I, I see a bright future. You know, the uh, distortions caused by the gridlock, you know, will disappear. A port standing tax team was also inaugurated to enforce compliance in line with the Nigerian Port Process Manual to make the maritime sector efficient and competitive. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.